Hello students. We'll be looking at index law number four in this video, but before we do that, just a quick reminder on some terminology we use both for arithmetic and for algebra. If we're adding two terms together, that's called a sum. Subtracting one term from another is called a difference. Multiplying two factors together is called a product and dividing is called a quotient. So we're going to need that terminology to write the next index law. Okay, here we have a times b in brackets, all to the power of 3. So we need to work out how we can write that without the brackets. Well, once again, we can figure it out by expanding. So I've got ab multiplied by ab multiplied by ab, because that's what raising to the power of 3 means. And of course, AB just means A multiplied by B. So we can expand them even further. And finally, let's simplify this. Well, again, because I can multiply uh, factors in any order, A by A by A is A to the power of 3. B times B times B is b to the power of 3. So ab all multiplied to the power of 3 can be written without brackets as a cubed b cubed. Okay, let's try it when one of our uh, factors is a number. So that's going to be 2y times 2y times 2y which means 2 times y times 2 times y times 2 times y. Well, we can multiply the 2s together. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. In fact, what I'll do, I won't write it that way quite yet. I'll write it as an index, 2 to the power of 3. y times y times y is y to the power of 3. So that's done what we were asked to do, which I wrote it without the brackets. Normally what we would do with this situation is go one step further and say 2 to the power of 3 is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8, y to the power of 3. So based on those two examples, um, see if you can write down the rule for raising a product to a power. And here's the index law down here. Index law number four, the power of a product, the power of a product equals the product multiplying of the powers. So we're multiplying a to the m times b to the m. So there it is in algebra. That's probably easier to understand than that. And there's a worked example. So let's go ahead and apply index law number four to some problems. So I'll do a couple of these, and I want you to try a couple. So BC all to the power of 4, using index law number 4, can be rewritten as B to the 4th, C to the 4th. By the way, the word simplify might not be quite correct here, because each of those is really equally simple. The difference is here we're writing it as a single uh, term, or a single factor raised to a power. Here we're writing it as a, as a product of powers. So sometimes that's easier or better, and sometimes that one's better. OK, let's try the next one. Well, it doesn't matter if we have two terms, sorry, two factors or four factors. The rule still applies. So that can be written as 3 to the power of 2, p to the power of 2, q to the power of 2, r to the power of 2. OK, so that's written with um, without brackets. The 3 squared, normally we then go ahead and say, well, that can be simplified to 9. p squared, q squared, r squared. OK, go ahead and try the remaining two questions on your own, please. OK, welcome back. So with this one, we have a squared, so I still have to raise that to the power of 4, times b to the power of 4. 
Well, a squared to the power of 4, to raise a power to a power, we multiply powers. So that's a to the power of 8, b to the power of 4. So I had to do this one in two steps. First, remove the brackets, which I've done there. I move the outside brackets. But I still have to raise a power to a power. And then I use index law number 3 to write that as a to the 8th. OK, similarly, this is going to be 2 to the 5th m cubed to the 5th n squared to the 5th. So I've got rid of the outside brackets, but I still have one more step to simplify completely. Well, 2 to the power of 5 is 32. To raise a power to a power, we multiply powers. m to the power of 15. To raise a power to a power, we multiply powers. n to the power of 2 times 5 is 10. OK, and now we can also use the rule and work backwards. So in this case, we've got it written as a power times a power. Sometimes it's useful to write that as a single power. So in this case, I can say that's the same as b times c all cubed. So that's just using index law number four in reverse. OK, stop the video and have a go at the next two questions, please. OK, let's see how you went. So both of these are to the power of 5. So they could be written as j times k to the power of 5. And again, the index law applies to as many uh, factors as you wish. Since they're all to the power of 2, that's a, b, c, all to the power of 2. OK, so that's index law number four. And believe it or not, we're now going to do index law number five in the next video.